My name is Partijn. I'm a product manager for process mining at UiPath. And in this video, I want to show you how to add new data to your existing process mining app. Let's get started. This is the app we're going to be using. It shows our IT service management process. I used the following data sets to create this app. I had a cases table, an event log, a due dates table, and a tags table. And these are all the standard tables we use in the template one multi-file app template. Now I have a new data file I want to add to this, and I want to join it into my cases data set. Let's take a look. This is the data set I want to add, and I generated it with communications mining. I trained the model based on our ticket texts and learned it which categories are important to us. The tickets in here have the same ID as the tickets in my cases data set, so I can use this column to join the data to the rest of my cases data. So let's go do that. First, I'll export my transformations so that I can edit them. I'll go here, press this button and export the transformations. I've unzipped the files and opened them in my Visual Studio code. Here you see all the transformations of my current process mining app. The first thing I'll do is add my new table to the sources.yaml. That's an easy step to forget, so I'll usually start with that. I create a new entry for my table in here. And to give it the exact name of my input file, I'll copy paste this same name like so. Okay, now I save this file and sources.yaml is looking good. Then I have to define my input query to select which fields I want to load. I usually copy paste one of my existing tables. I'll use the cases table this time. I'll rename it to the new name, which is going to be communications mining categorization input. And then the first thing I'll do is to take my sources name, use that in my input query, so it's exactly the same. And then I can start putting in my input fields and I'll remove the existing fields because I only need a few. I'll put the new name here. I see I used a capital C in here. Input. Note that I also have to change it here. And then I can put in my input fields. I'll copy them from my Excel sheet. Again, so it's that I have the exact same names. I need four fields. And this is the first one. Category. Okay, now note that category, or sorry, probability, is not of a text type. Every uh, input field you load is by default of type text. Probability is a double, so I have to put an extra parameter here, but I also want to use it as a floating point number. If you ever wonder what other types there are, you can just look at the other uh, queries, which usually uh, other types are listed there as well. So just date, time, integer, and boolean. Okay, let me quickly double check. This is looking good, so I'll now save my query. Now I have to join my new table to the rest of the data set. I usually try to find the first table where I can join it so that it can propagate to the rest. Here, it's the cases base table. On the top, I will let it know that I want to use a different table as well in my join do it like so and I'll copy paste my names again I want to use categorization input and here I'll give it the same name and then on the bottom I'll start defining my join select from cases left join this data set on Case ID is case ID of my original table. And let's put them in quotes so everything is consistent. 
let's copy paste the input fields like so and note that i have to output them in a the model that the app expects so i'll have to use the custom fields for that in my comment i noted which ones i used before because in my original query i'm already using part of the custom fields i'll add my new ones here so i want to use category as custom text 16 and subcategory as custom text 17 okay this has to be the table i take them from okay so that's good and then probability is a number so i'll add that as a number field save this query as well so this is looking good I have added my new a table to the sources at YAML I created a new input query to load my new data and now I joined it to the rest of the data in this query and I outputted it in the set of data fields that are expected by my app so now I'll save everything zip it and import it back into my process mining app okay I'll zip these files Take care to zip the files in the directory and not the directory itself. And I create a new zip file of my new transformations. And then I can go to my app, choose import transformations, drag the file I just created. So here's my new transformations. And then I want to choose the new data set. So what I'll do is I'll select upload data and now i'll put in the files that i had before but also my new file for which i created the new queries and when i hit this button it will start ingesting those files and run my transformations now we just have to wait a bit my data run was successful now let's check out the app i'll go to the data manager and here I see that my new fields were loaded properly. I can now rename them to the names that I want them to have. This was supposed to be category. This one subcategory. And this was my probability. Let's create a dashboard with these new fields. Create a new dashboard like so. And create a new chart with my fields category subcategory and probability i'll choose some metrics make them visible and now let me check this out by previewing okay here are my new categories this is looking good. Let me switch it to also check the subcategory. Let's also look exactly as I expected. And that's it. I loaded my new file that I generated with communications mining and added the new categorizations to my existing process mining app. I changed the transformations to load the new input file and join it to my cases table. And now I can use my new fields in my dashboards to analyze them. Thanks for watching.